Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at a uh, pretty simple process of adding some stairs to this little, I don't know, house vignette chunk of a house for the layperson. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run some stairs up here. So I got a kind of a, a stairwell right here, a little bit of a landing and the stairs turn. So I just want to get some stairs right in down here. So first thing I have to figure out is how many stairs is this going to be? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to draw one line that is the vertical distance the stairs have to travel. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to pull up. And whilst on that blue axis, I'm going to hold down shift and then snap up to the bottom of this landing piece right here. And then to figure out how far I have to travel, I'm going to put a line right here. All right, so there we go. So those are my two lines. The actual dimensions of them really aren't terribly important right now. Um, what I want to do next is break these up. So I want to start by evenly breaking this vertical one up into as many steps or as many uh, segments as I need for steps. Um, I'm not exactly sure how tall I want each step to be. This is more of an issue of I know I have to get from here to here um, and I have a you know minimum and maximum rise that I can have on my step but I don't have a specific step height I need to get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this line right here, context click here, and then I'm going to hit divide. And when I, when I go into divide, I get these little red dots. As I move my mouse up and down, those red dots increase or decrease. If you watch in the lower right corner, it actually pops up and it tells you how many segments we're looking at there. If I hold still for a few seconds, it'll give me segments and it'll give me the approximate length of each segment. So 10 inches is a little bit tall for a step, so I'm going to need a couple more uh, steps than that. So if I come here, well, five inches, well, it's a little, around five and a half inches, probably a little too short. So somewhere in the, in the middle, 10, 10 sounds good. That gives me a little over seven inch vertical on my steps. That sounds awesome. So I'll go ahead and click. And now I have 10 seven inch, give or take, segments there. I'm going to do the same thing horizontally. I don't have to really worry quite as much about how many because I know I want to match that. I want 10 horizontal uh, breaks also. That's going to give me, ooh, gives me exactly a 10 foot tread. That's kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and click there. All right, so my first step, I'm going to start drawing my steps, is going to start right here at, at the end of my first break. If I want to, if I want to actually see where those breaks are, I can come over to my styles menu, window, turn styles on. And I can actually come here and edit and turn on some endpoints. So that'll actually give me a location of where that end is. So I could click right there and I want to draw along this wall right here. Hold down shift again because I want to use this first snap point up here as my reference. All right, so all those lines were created basically to get these two. I'm going to turn endpoints off because that is just too many little lines for my little brain and I'm going to erase the rest of these lines. Again, these two lines at the bottom that represent the riser and the tread are the only lines I really need right this second. All right, so now I know this is what one of my steps is gonna look like. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and select. I'm gonna select both these lines, right click, and make it a component. I'm gonna call this component a step. Look at that, spelled it right on the first try. Create. All right, so that is my component. I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to add a little bit more to this. I'm going to say, I'm going to draw a line down one inch and then come back like this. Again, using shift to inferencing. There we go. And now I'm going to double click, make that into a group. Draw another line here over one inch down the bottom. Make that a group also. I'm not worried about making these components because I don't necessarily, in this particular model, I'm not worried about having uh, the riser and the tread be separate components. All I'm really concerned about is the whole thing being a component and repeating. So now that I'm done, I can take this one component and I can move it and click the bottom, hit the option or control key uh, to modify, to copy, and I'm going to click at the top corner there. Right, that gives me two of them. Now before I do anything else, I want to put 
a whole string of these up to this step. Do you remember how many there was there? There was 10 total. So I already had one, two. I will actually want more than just one copy. I want to do nine copies. So I'm going to hit X9 and hit enter. And that's going to give me all those steps all the way up. So that's what that's going to look like. That should meet perfectly right there because we actually use the dimension of uh, that location as our reference point for calculating both the rise and the run. So it looks pretty good, but now we got to actually put some meat on these steps. So I'm going to go ahead and click into this first one. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this line right here, double click in again, grab this line and move that back so it runs underneath that riser. And I'm going to put a little bit of a nose on here. I'm going to grab this point right here. I'll move it out, say, half an inch, 0.5. That looks pretty good. And now I can grab it and I can bring it across till it hits the opposite side. And there we go. So if I wanted open stairs right now, I could be done. I could just say that is it. That's what I want. But I'm going to match my landing right here. And I'm going to double click, double click to enter the group. Again, push pull, pull that all the way across the opposite side. And there we go. All right, pretty close. I'm going to want to get the same wood texture on these steps. So I'm going to double click in, double click in. And then I'm going to triple click to select all the surfaces. My paint bucket tool and use my modifier key to pick a color and then drop it onto that selected surfaces. The thing that's not included in here, of course, is any sort of frame I didn't add stringers or fill in the bottom. If we come in here and look from the back, we we're just going to see the back of those steps, um, which is fine for this model I'm doing because right now I just need to get, again, for my vignette, I just want to look at stairs right here. But even if I did want to go take those extra steps, it would just be a matter of adding some more geometry to the bottom. The important part is I have those realistic looking stairs in my model. Thank you.